Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Captain of Industry. This is a new game that came out on Steam Early Access a few days ago, and it's actually quite interesting. And basically what this is, a factory mining simulator like Factorio, combined with a colony management survival aspect like uh, Frostpunk and other games that may be of that, that genre. Uh, I have played a few hours, and I've actually really enjoyed it, and I like some of the mechanics, so we'll get into that once we start up the game. Uh, as you can see, there's different types of starting levels we can, or islands, I can say, I should say. Uh, it shows you different sort of land shapes. Everything is procedurally, I wouldn't say procedurally generated, but uh, resources and stuff like that are randomly generated. As you can see, there shows you the wood, water, uh, sand, stone, limestone, and all the other good stuff. So we're going to go ahead, here, go ahead and start on the... The first one here, the standard. I have, like I said, I've played a few hours already and I'm really starting to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and game difficulty. We can change different things like uh, how much food they can consume, how much power we can generate, and all that stuff. There's different difficulty levels, but we're just going to go ahead with the Sailor because, you know, we're still new with the game. So let's go ahead and launch it. Uh, there's a few things I like about this game. One of them just happens to be the animations of the. the the equipment and the machines and uh, the work that they do and then there's other types of zoning that we'll get into very soon it took me a few trial and errors to figure out what I was doing wrong and why things weren't working the way they were supposed to but it's really interesting all right uh, greetings welcome captains captain captain we have just docked our ship and the local shipyard We'll both need major repairs, and that's something we'll get into eventually. It's actually going to be a very useful thing for it. That's uh, sort of like uh, exploration missions and stuff like that to find settlements, that we, other settlements we can trade with and stuff like that. Uh, the Madden Communication Tower near the dock, which is this one right here, I believe, uh, could be deconstructed to, and use a smelt iron, so it's basically going to be our starting resources. We dismantle what's here and start over. Uh, and then research lab, and that's going to be the first thing we do because the the amount of things you can do in this game is extremely extensive. Uh, basically, we're going to be sending rockets into space eventually. And yeah, that's just what I was explaining about the trading dock. So here we are. This is this is our island. This is our settlement here. This is where our work, our 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 population lives and then with our population we have people that are able to work and the workers will be need to be need to be used for doing things like dismantling this or driving the trucks or operating the shipyard or on the ship and all that interesting stuff so let's go ahead and start with uh, our research lab uh, as you can the unity I'm not 100% sure what the unity is in fact I'm gonna quickly check that Sorry about that. I knew about the Unity. I just didn't really fully understood what it was explained as, but it is does show it in here. If I go to the up into the Unity Unity uh, review panel here, and it says right here, Unity is important to run things such as research labs, oil rigs, and, or uh, edicts. Uh, Unity can be increased by providing better services, settlements, and all that stuff. Uh, it, I guess sort of global Unity. More or less, now you can use the Unity to speed things up uh, or uh, do things that you may be short on resources for, like emergency repairs or whatnot. But anyways, let's go ahead and build the research lab now. I do want to try to get a little more organized with this one, unlike the last one, uh, or my previous playthrough. I'll probably put the research lab... Hmm. I guess we'll just stick it right over here for now. You can always move stuff later on. Okay, go ahead and get that going. Uh, there's a little tutorial about the waste and dumping, and every settlement needs a waste collection area, and then we have to set up a landfill. So what we'll do is, while that's going, let's, uh, where was it? I believe it was, yes, waste collection. Uh, I don't think it really matters where it go I don't think it really matters where it goes. Uh, just easier access to my dumping site, which I haven't quite just determined yet my last one is over here it's kind of bad spot so I think we'll stick it over here so I'll put the, the waste collection on this side and then we go over to our designated area so that right now there's tree harvesting areas so I can go ahead and I can tell tree harvester here oh research lab ready uh, to start clearing out these trees now I don't have any place to put the trees just yet so that is going to be 
uh, something I'll have to deal with. I don't think I have any storage at the moment. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, let's set up a dumping designated area. Now this, uh, hmm. As you can see, there's sort of like a highlighted area. Uh, using the keys here, I can rotate it. Uh, it can go from uh, an angle terrain to a flat terrain. And basically what I'm doing is I'm sort of creating a blueprint of how I want the mound to be formed. So I can't go ahead and, let's say, if I use Q and E, I can't start placing like this because they won't have anywhere to, any way to actually get to it. As you can see, you cannot start dumping here yet. The terrain is too, it's too high. Too much above the terrain. I'm sorry, I'm having a bad day. I didn't recording. Uh, right click to go ahead and get rid of it. So what I want to do is I want to start with a slope and I'm going to go, let's go two full grids. Now if I move over here and hit F again, and then this will create a full, sort of a flat even area. My mouse is not working lately. I don't know why. All right, so if I do that, now, if I set up, where is it, buildings? No, that's not it. Where was it? There it was, uh... It was supposed to be some building. Maybe I gotta research it. Yes, maybe that's what it is. Uh, he's got no place to stick any stuff. That's on the research lab. Alright, so we go into the research tab. Now, this is very extensive. This is where we start. And I'm just going to give you an example of how far we go in this. And it just goes and goes and goes. And we're not even done yet. And keep going. And keep going all the way up to like the so advanced solar panels and uh, consumer electronics. Like we get into like electronic, uh, electronics, plastics, steel, all that fun stuff. Uh, I haven't actually gotten this far yet. I think the furthest I got. But it's way back here, like somewhere around here. Sorry, getting to, uh, yeah, about the cargo ships. Uh, ship stuff is quite interesting too. Anyway, uh, so we need to start off with uh, a few things here. I don't know why I didn't get that tower yet. It's supposed to be some sort of mining tower. Where is it here? Maybe I'm just not looking in the right spot. All right, well, uh, let's, uh, we've got the mining already. Uh, we've got a settlement, so we're going to have to start on the farming right away because we're going to need food. Uh, we can use the excess food for trading later. Uh, let's see, okay, what was I going to do here? Well, I guess the first thing we can do is start making some coal, and that's what we can actually use the wood for. There's different recipes. Uh, uh, as you can see, there's an output of coal and exhaust. Now, most machines, as you can see, the blast furnace is the same, and except for the metal caster, because it's just casting. And that's uh, one of the ones I actually like the animations about. Uh, also, too, I'll show you how many workers are needed for each one. This is where our colony management comes into comes into play, but if you go to the coal maker, there is also under waste management smokestacks to allow uh, venting of exhaust gases. All right, so uh, I'm having the dump over here, so we also have the coal maker over here. Try to keep our dirty stuff over there if we can. So we go over here, we place it. Uh, can go ahead and right click or hit R to rotate it. As you can see, it shows wood on one in wood input on one side and then coal output on the other plus with the exhaust so we'll place that there to actually get this going and get our waste management so a smokestack just automatically connects to here and shows a little connection that's connected and that'll go now this one doesn't actually need power but it does need two workers uh, as, you can show, as you can see it shows what we need to uh, Build it. I'm sorry, I'm having a really bad day recording. And this is our little truck convoy. So we actually have a, a worker driving the truck. They bring supplies over to build the thing and they drive back. And if you can go up, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Sh workers, it just shows basically a population overview. There isn't, as far as I know, isn't any way to, um, what am I, that's what am I trying to think about here? Uh, see who uh, like specifically designed certain people like okay well you're going to be driving a truck you're going to be working in the waste management or whatever uh anyway so we go in here we got that it's going to be automatically set to do that our harvester needs a truck 
So we have to actually assign a truck to him. So the truck can be delivering wood from the harvester to the coal maker. And where are you? There you are. See why he ch takes one of these ones and not one of the ones over there? I don't know. Game has early access. But as you'll see, we'll wait till the truck leaves and you can watch this guy take down another tree. And this is where I mean about the animation. So it goes down, it goes over, actually cuts the tree down, and it debarks, uh, debranches it. Just little things like that. So, so cute. And over here, then we, this thing is actually going ahead and making us coal, and it has a smokestack. It is creating air pollution, but I don't think there is any overlay for that. Speaking of overlay, uh, this shows us our resources. Uh, this is groundwater here. There's a legend here, so groundwater is there. Over here, we have coal. This is where we're going to start getting our coal. We have limestone over here. This is our oil deposit. And then when you have different resources in one area as you can see it'll show different bars in the same sort of grid area so gives you an idea that there's gonna be more stone than iron here but then you go over a place like here and it's gonna be like solid iron because you don't actually see any gray okay so that is going now let's go back over to get that off and let's go ahead and start dismantling this so this is going to get us iron scrap concrete slabs and electronics uh, currently the only place that we have to store stuff is in the shipyard uh, the shipyard is full so we're going to have to start making room for that eventually but we do have a starter supply of cement and concrete uh, construction parts and vehicle parts and stuff like that uh, eventually we do have to repair this uh, we have to actually research it in the research lab and then once we repair that, then we can repair the ship. And then once we repair the ship, then we can head off into the world and start exploring different areas, like different settlements, uh, where we can go and trade with or look for random things. Uh, you can run into different, uh, like pirate ships and go into battles and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, the farming is going. Uh, the manage waste management hasn't had any issues yet uh, i thought i needed an actual mining control tower for the dump but it it doesn't so this is actually our waste and eventually this whole area is going to fill up with waste and then i'll have to build up another level by going back into here and then sort of increasing the height as i go so that's something to keep an eye on too uh also um uh i'm sorry uh, it's just one of those days, isn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, what we're doing is we're going to start getting, going ahead and get into our production here. I do have the coal maker over here. I'm wondering. Because I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Because I want to start getting the blast furnace going so we can start making making iron. We need the scrap for it, but we need the coal from here. So that's going to require... Um, having trucks deliver stuff back and forth. I guess we can do it over here for now. It's not going to be that big of an issue. So what I can do, uh, as you can see, there's uh, an output on this one for exhaust and liquid iron. And on the inside, I need inputs for coal and the scrap. Now, if I wanted to, I could co connect this directly up to there. And it would connect. But one, the smokestack is in the way. I'll see if I can show you it here. Uh, the smokestack is in the way, so I couldn't actually direct, directly connect it. Uh, so I'm going to have to use trucks, but eventually we'll be able to get into chutes and uh, conveyor belts. So that's uh, something to keep an eye out for. Now this one also does need a uh, smokestack, so we'll stick a smokestack there. And then we go ahead into the, the metal caster. Now the metal caster is very... Interesting. No, oh, tutorial on tools. And we are done basic farming, so we'll get to that in just a second here. So now this is actually something I just found out like just recently as I started this up uh, for this recording, that is. But uh, we do have transport. We have channels, which, as you can see, supported products is molten iron, copper, and then we also have pipes, which is fuel and steam or exhaust. Now, I thought you had to actually manually choose this, but you don't if you just automatically click on an input or an output, uh, 
one of the arrows and it'll automatically create the channel for me. Now I want to do the same thing here because it's going to output on two channels and I want to have this actually have them both going to the metal caster here. And you guys gotta wait for the trucks to come come here. Uh, oh yes, that's right. This this produces slag as well. Okay, not with this recipe, but the next recipe it will start producing slag. I just gotta wait for these guys to do the, finish this. Uh, you can prioritize construction by just hitting the yellow arrow there. It'll make it a P1. Uh, priority levels are unavailable at the moment because uh, I already prioritized them, but uh, more or less lower the number, the higher the priority. Now uh, this is where the animations come in. You can see the molten iron going there. It comes into a big crucible, it lifts up, it pours into the casting, and into the molds, cools down, drops onto the conveyor, and continues on. Little details like that really make the game quite interesting. Okay, so that's they are going to do that. I don't have any place to actually put any storage at the moment, do I? No, I don't. But let's go ahead and build this farm. Uh, currently, I do not have any water, so uh, we're more or less relying on rain. And I think we'll put this right here for now. Certain alignment on the grid doesn't really matter too much. Oh, it just started raining. It's not even built yet. But. For now, we eat potatoes. Uh, we can get into wheat and then fruits and vegetables later on. Uh, how are we doing here? This is going to be lasting us a while. Uh, we do have to start getting some uh, storage going, so let's see what is next on the research. Uh, next is going to be... What's that? That's the assembly, so we can start making construction parts and other things that we need. Uh, I would like to start getting into unit storage, so we'll go ahead and start that next. And then after that, then we'll go back into the construction. I uh, don't really know if the research costs anything, but uh, it's there. That's the current building mechanic. I don't know if that's going to be changing or not. Uh, as you saw, this guy actually had nowhere to put the wood because uh, uh, the, the coal burner has a certain, uh, certain input limit. And I don't have any storage f to actually put the excess wood at the moment. I could create a dumping area of like a log b log pile, but I don't know if I can actually reclaim it. Actually, I don't think I have that thing unlocked yet, do I? No, I don't. Oh, I'm getting all mixed up here. All right, so what is going to be next on the list? Uh, let's see. We are doing the trading dock. Uh, let's go ahead and actually speed this up. This is our food market. This just basically where the it's you call it our pantry. It's where our main food food supply goes, just so to make sure that everybody eats. Uh, there is other buildings we get into once we research them. I'm sorry, I'm having a really bad day. All right, let's see where we're at here. Okay, oh, our trading talk's almost done. Uh, I was actually looking at the research, and I forgot there's actually one thing we could do. We can actually queue up uh, current, uh, the research we want to do next. Currently, we're doing the trading dock. I can actually add this to the queue next, because this is actually what I want, is I want to start getting excavators and uh, other things so we can actually start doing some mining. Uh, as you can see, the next is going to be concrete production. Whoa. Lightning. Cool. And so the trading dock is done. So we'll get that going pretty quick here. And that's going to vehicles and mining. Let's see how you're doing on the wood. You are doing good. So we should have storage and the trading dock. Where is the mining? Oh, yeah. The mining's still being researched. All right, well, we can go ahead and build the trading dock because it's only wood, so we'll rotate that. We'll stick it right in the water, make sure it's not impeding on the other thing there. And this just allows us to trade with the other set settlements, like over here. Uh, I, can, I can buy scrap for wood. I can buy potatoes for construction parts. And if we need concrete, we can get that or copper, but we already have that stuff for now, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, and then uh, I was talking about the, the ship repair or the ship dock repair. Uh, as you can see, that is right here. So we got a little bit of research to go before we get there. We're going to start getting into the power situation soon, too. Uh, power and maintenance, that is. 
Okay, oh yeah, storage, that's what we need. So, what I'm gonna do here is, because uh, this, because the wood is actually able to be stored in a unit storage here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna connect this right up to that. And then, while before this is even built, I can go ahead and set this to wood. So in that way, the tree harvester can continue, continue harvesting trees and just stick it in here, and the coal, coal burner will keep turning it into coal. Now, unfortunately, the as you can see, this doesn't actually support the coal or things like sand or gravel or anything. You actually need a loose storage, and that's going to be something we'll have to research a little bit later. All right, so our landfill is filling up. Uh, let's see if see if I can skip ahead here and bring it back when we can get some mining going. Actually, what we can do while we wait is we can go ahead and just have an output on the blast for uh, the uh, ingot for the metal caster. Go right into here so we have a place to put the iron, so we don't have to worry about the trucks running back and forth, wasting our precious diesel, which, uh, as you can see here, we have a limited supply of, so we have to make sure we uh, get producing that pretty soon. Uh, the, uh, there's going to be a big oil field over here, as you can see right here, so we'll start going in there and getting oil, and go from there. Okay, well, our vehicle's mining is almost done researching. I thought I'd point out a few things while while I'm waiting for this. Uh, there are a couple of tools here you probably saw, like there's a cut and paste. So if I were to go like this, select all of that, or something like that. Uh, I know that, well, let's actually not use that tool. But they're talking about that you're actually able to, like, let's say I have a little factory set up like this set up. I can go ahead and I can copy all this and I just paste it somewhere else. So I'll actually rebuild my current uh, setup. But in that way, you know, if you wanna have like a mass, mass row of factories or production lines that you don't have to rebuild everything. So that was actually quite interesting. All right, research. Let's get into research here. What is next? Uh, next, I was going to, I guess we should probably get that finished. Do that. We'll get into power and maintenance, and then after the power and maintenance, uh, probably should get into the diesel. Diesel, and then the beacon. As you can see, it helps us gain more people to our our settlement. But as our settlement settlement grows, we have a certain number of people that we can house here at the moment. Each one of these supports seventy people. So 50, 50 people more and I'll have to build another one of these. All right, well, now that that is done, now let's go into the mine control tower. Now this is where our mining comes in. So we have coal here and we have iron over here. Uh, we also should have copper over here, which is good. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll start with the coal because you know, the wood's only gonna last so long. Uh, we do have to face the arrow towards where our mine area is going to be we set and go here we can actually choose how big of an area we want so we can specify our actual mining bounds so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger because this whole mound here is coal so we have that and then as you can see we have to designate trucks and eventually excavators to it um, probably should get uh, a vehicle depot so we can start building some excavators I'll probably just stick this on the back side here for now. Or actually, no. Uh, let's put it over here. Now, I will have to get some assemblers going to make vehicle parts for when we get into here. Because you can see that it needs fuel, needs iron, and it needs mechanical parts to make an excavator, which we actually need for mine. So I want to go ahead and queue one of these up. Uh, this is where the Unity comes in, so I can go ahead and get this right away just by spending unity which i have but we're gaining about 1.7 a month so that's something we'll have to deal with now when i get into here we do have just like the dumping of the tree we have trees we have a mining designation so i can go in here and i can let's say uh oh that's the wrong way let's rotate this like that and then start at two, and then if I go ahead and maybe even 
Hang on. Okay, yeah, flatten it. Flatten the area like so. And then if I go up to an angle again, and then I can more or less climb right up like that. And that'll go ahead and start mining everything once I get the excavator here. Uh, excavator is taking time, it's waiting for materials. I should have everything, have everything, it's just a matter of the convoy running over here. There's our diesel, there is our vehicle parts, and all that stuff. Uh, the more trucks you have, the better, but there's a certain global maintenance level you have to have, which you need in a maintenance shop, which again, we have to research, which keeps our, your, all your trucks up and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go for a little bit and uh, check the recording time and I'll bring you back and see where we're at. Okay, well we're getting pretty close to the end of the first one here. So what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up another excavator. Because uh, since we've got the coal going here, we must as well start up a, um, an iron mine over here. I do have to set up a dumping area because I had that issue before. Um, on the, the other map I was playing, uh, I was getting all the excess dirt and gravel, but I had nowhere to actually put it. Now, I think for this, I actually have to have another mine control tower. Is that actually allows dumping of certain things here. So what I want to do is, again, I want to edit this area. So I'm not dumping back into the area. I'm just clearing out. Okay, we'll edit the area, and this is going to be just dirt. So I don't want any waste or anything else in here. Just put dirt here. And then I can set up another one over here for gravel or stone as I get it. And that'll supply both of these areas. Or it should anyways. Then I'll post, place another one here. And... Actually, do I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is actually a mining area. So let's go ahead and set that. We'll set this area. Uh, I guess it's okay for now. We don't really plan. I don't really plan on doing too much else in here. So we'll get out of here, and then again, this is going to be the same thing where I have to sort of manually edit the terrain. Uh, on my other map, I was sort of more or less taking right to the cliff, and it didn't seem to have a problem with that. So maybe we'll we'll try that. Let's actually go ahead and flatten this and actually get my mouse to work properly. Now let's see if it'll actually just carve right through the mountain like that. Shouldn't have a problem. Well, except for the fact that these aren't even in the mine area. Go ahead and undo those. Get rid of that. Then you need an excavator and I guess I'll give you two trucks, I guess. Uh, you are going to need an excavator and a couple of trucks as well. So I'm about to assign the trucks to you now. I need a place to dump all this stuff too. I don't have any actual loose storage, which is going to be a bit of an issue, I think. Or do I have loose storage yet? No, I don't. Let's actually see where there is on the research. Loose storage, loose storage, up here. Past concrete, of course. Alrighty, well, uh, we're starting to go here, go along here. Let's uh, get that speeded up. Truck has no capital box excavator. Yes, I'm waiting for that excavator, which will be done uh, very soon. Go ahead and assign that to him. And then for the time being, the coal and the iron is going to be going right into the smelt. Actually, put that over here, maybe. Keep everything close by so we're not running around back and forth all the time. So we'll build another blast furnace here. Probably, probably place it right in the middle. Uh, hmm. Put it over here close to the iron, I guess. Alright, and then the recipe on this one is going to be iron, coal, and then it's going to produce slag as well. The slag I will need to hang on to because that's going to go into... Go into a rock crusher that'll turn into uh, crushed slag, which makes cement. Alright, so that's the blast furnace. And then we need a, a metal caster on this as well. Like so, that's a bad place for it, but 
Actually, yeah, that's a really bad place for me. <laughs> Put it on the other side here. Uh, metal caster. Okay, and then we go ahead and we connect that up, and like so. Uh, we need an exhaust or a smokestack on here. And then, I guess for the time being, probably have to have another dumping area for slag. I can't put slag in here, I need to lose storage for it. If I start building up slag, then this thing is going to stop running altogether. Uh, hmm. Uh, what am I looking for here? I am looking for a mining control tower. And then what I want to... I also want to see if I'm, it's possible to... Reclaim something that's already in... In a dumping area. Is it no, like, I'm dumping waste and dumping dirt, and I want to see if I can actually reclaim it. So I could dump the slag here, I know that. Uh, there's the crushed slag I was talking about. Let's get all this stuff out of here. Uh, don't need any trucks for it. That's just going to be a straight up dumping area, actually. I need to make it an actual dumping area. Or do I? I guess we'll find out for science, huh? Okay, what are, what are you waiting on? You are full iron ore, okay. What are you doing? Nothing you're waiting for. Oh, but. So I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. I wanna see if uh, they'll actually take the slag and put it over into this dumping area here. I don't think it's going to. Maybe I actually have to make it designated dumping area. Uh, doing that wrong. I need the slope. Let's get, uh, clear all this. And rotate. There we go. Oh, oh no, not like that. Okay, so that should dump slag there. Hopefully. That could be this guy here. Yes, it is. And there we go. There's our slag dump. Now I just have to find out if I can actually mine, from, uh, move slag out of there. All right, so we are. What did we just finish? Power and maintenance, and we'll probably get into that in the next episode because I know we're running a little long on here. But that would be under here. We go. A maintenance, a maintenance depot, and this more or less keeps our equipment running at optimum performance. But as you see, we have to make maintenance parts which need mechanical parts and electronics which is something we'll have to get into some serious automations so uh anyways i think we'll call it here i thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later